Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and today I want to talk about something that we can hopefully expect a little bit further down the line in the Horizon season. We know many of the things that are coming within Season 2. In fact, Frontier has spoken about Season 2 since around about August of last year, and there is a lot of information out there if you dig around and go looking for it. But one thing Frontier haven't spoken about much, beyond just a few snippets here and there, is active volcanism down on planets. Now this is something I'm really looking forward to because it will have a massive effect on the types of planets we can visit. As you all know, currently we can only visit rocky worlds and ice worlds and combinations of rocky ice worlds, but that is the limit. But that does make up for a huge percentage of the planets that are currently available in the game. A while back when Michael Brooks was talking about this, he threw out the number that the amount of planets that we can land on is actually 61%. And when you factor in that there are 400 billion systems within the game, that means that we have probably got quite a few trillion planets that we can actually land on, even at the moment. But they are all rocky, they're all icy, and... Hopefully it's not going to be too long before we can land on something a bit different. And volcanism would mark a huge step towards that. Now we do know that's coming, at least Frontier have mentioned it. But again, it's something they don't really speak about. My theory then is that it's part of patch 2.4, the one with the big question marks. And that would place it toward the end of Season 2, and it would place it right before the release of Season 3. My theory is also that Season 3 will contain atmospheric planets. Now, I've got nothing to base that theory on other than just a wild assumptions as well as just reading between the lines here and there but with the things that Frontier have said. And, well, volcanoes do tend to spew out a lot of gases and a lot of liquid. And one thing you'd expect to see on both active lava volcano worlds as well as active ice volcano worlds is both gas and liquid on the planet. And that's something that's currently not in the game at the moment. But it's also a requirement for atmospheric worlds. So, really, volcanism would be a half step to walk forwards finally getting the atmospheric worlds. Now, if you've been out there exploring a fair bit, you will no doubt have seen those lava worlds that do exist out there. I haven't actually come across one before that doesn't have an atmosphere, although maybe that's just down to me not having found ones like that. So it would seem to me that those are one of the types of planets we'll be able to get to land on. And as for active ice volcanism, well, I haven't actually seen anything out there at all that could perhaps be related to that other than the few ice worlds that are classified as having atmospheres. Now, it may not make much sense that those would be the worlds that we'd get to land on, but they've got to be out there somewhere, and I would assume that the worlds we can currently land on, the ice worlds we can currently land on, that is, are not actually going to suddenly start springing volcanism or geysers on them. So, really, volcanism would be about more than just simply placing a volcano on top of a planet, as they have a whole lot of other geological features associated with them. Something we should expect to see, then, would be plumes of smoke, huge plumes of smoke. Some volcanoes are truly massive, and given enough time, it wouldn't be unrealistic to expect a handful of volcanoes to spew out enough gases to envelope uh, an entire world. And it's precisely for that reason that I would have thought that these would be the first step towards getting true atmospheres. Now, going back to those lava worlds for the moment, they do have currently a distinct appearance when you're in orbit around them or when you're flying toward them. And I would suspect that just as with other planets when Horizons was released, those visuals will change somewhat. But even as they currently stand, they give us an idea of what we could perhaps expect down on those planets. And massive lava lakes, as well as lava oceans, are things that currently are very distinct down there. And that, of course, opens up the possibility of lava flows, lava rivers, and other such things flowing across the surface of the planets. And, well, we can't have that without also wondering just how it's going to affect our ships, as well as the SRVs. Aside from self-destructing or hitting a big rock too built too fast, or perhaps driving over the edge of a cliff, there really isn't too much danger to an SRV currently down on the planetary surface. Now, if you've got big lava flows around you, that would perhaps present a bit of a clear and present danger. The same could perhaps be held true for ice worlds with active volcanism, where we could fully expect to see geysers on, or geysers if you're American. And I'd also hope to see some type of ice flows on the planetary surfaces as well. You know, already, I can already hear a lot of people questioning that perhaps there would be very nice to have all these additional planets, all these nice new effects and different planets to land on. But how is it going to affect gameplay? Is it going to bring anything new to us in terms of what we can do down on the planetary surfaces? I absolutely, honestly don't know about that. 
but I would really like to hope so. It would seem a little bit of a waste to have planets like that without at least giving a little bit more in terms of gameplay. And I would hope that just doesn't become a case of being able to drive around and collect various different types of additional materials or synthesis materials that could be done on such planets. But even without any of that, I know there are many of us that are absolutely huge fans of flying around over the surface of planets, even in their current form. So the few extra ones that should hopefully be coming sometime in this season are going to be very, very welcome. So just a few random thoughts then on what we can hopefully expect a little bit further down the line. Short video for today, and I'll be back very soon with some more videos. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time. But getting back in my ship did provide for the chance to take some aerial footage where I'm able to offer a true sense of scout of this journey.